My testing, my testing, my testing. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, supposedly, I don't plan to actually do live today. <laughs> but yeah, the students say, Sir, how come you skipped the paper 2 2 yesterday? So I'm like, Okay, uh, maybe, yeah, today, just do a uh, paper 2 2 and some. Uh, last minute revision. If any one of you have anything want to ask me about MF, uh, I will try my best to to answer you. Of course, uh, don't suddenly ask me like, sir, can you teach like one whole topic or not? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's not possible in like one hour to make you master something. So like, it's just a minor thing. Yeah, you're not sure or you're confused. You can ask me uh, after the paper two I discuss and because tomorrow I'm not sure because some of you are from different country but in Malaysia your their exam is on morning I think it's eight something morning so I also don't want this live go until very late so so yeah so therefore I will just make it uh, short and quick all right let's go to the paper two okay uh, if you check the trade trade hall for the IGCC MM, you realize paper two is the lowest mark to get A because according to the statistic, I guess the paper two is the hardest paper among, I mean the variant two among the variant one and three. Yeah, so if you are doing variant two in your country, then yeah, you might be lucky and, and unlucky at the same time. Lucky is because very easy to get A. Unlucky is because your paper is hard. <laughs> so there's a... Oh my god, my mic got problem. Let me listen back to my mic. My testing, my testing, my testing, my testing, my testing, one, two, three. My testing, one, two, three. My testing, one, two, three. I don't know. I find my mic okay here. Is my mic okay for you? Alright, I will not go through the whole paper. I will only go through the questions which I think it might come out. Like the first one, third, because third is haven't coming out yet. So yeah, let's have a look at the first questions. Um Okay. I don't know, do I, I yeah, if you already no problem in MF just go to sleep. Because do whenever whoever wanna do MF paper tomorrow, you better have enough sleep before the MF paper. Okay, don't burn any midnight oil before the MF paper. Right, so find the exact value of y when x equals when x equals six. Give your answer in this form. Um okay, not too bad. Y equals to six plus square six over three plus square six. Okay, then I will just I don't know, multiply 3 minus 6. Here also multiply 3 minus 6. Put the bracket for all of this. Alright, then the bottom is become 3, uh, a plus b, a minus b, I will get a square, which is 9, minus b square, 6. So top I should get 18, minus 6, third 6, plus 3, third 6, and then minus 6. So if I simplify this one, I should get uh, 12 minus 3 third 6 over 3. So it should be 4 minus third 6. Alright, so and for a question like this, always check with a calculator. There's no way you make the mistake here because you can type in a calculator. Whatever question you, you can type in a calculator, there's no excuse to make any mistake here because yeah, you can always know your answer is right or wrong okay so okay done uh this modulus question i think come out already uh b square minus 4 ac haven't come out so yeah have real root basically mean b square minus 4 ac is bigger or equal to zero isn't it so my b is k plus 5 square a is k c is minus 4 bigger or equal to zero just expand it as usual k square plus 10k plus 25 plus 16k you got equal to 0 then k square plus 26k plus 21 I mean 25 is big or equals to 0 then I will just factorize this is k k um, um, um I will get plus 21 uh, plus 25 and 1 
Okay, so here I check the marking scheme. They want us to actually write the critical value. Actually, it's quite obvious, but yeah, just write k is equals to 25 or k equals to, I mean, negative 25 and negative 1. Then only you say k must be bigger or equals to negative 1 or k must be less or equals to negative 25. All right, the question like this also, you can always check with the calculator for b integer need to write one um no need the question doesn't ask you to find a or b right they just ask you to leave your answer in a plus b sub 3 yeah if they ask about what is the value of a and b you need to say a is 4 b is negative 1 but in this case you do not need to do that all right if you are using this calculator you should know it have the inequality function do you see inequality? So I will type enter and then I will enter this equation. This is power two. I choose my pattern, which is the third one. Third one. My A is one, B is 26, C is 25. And then, yep, do you see? I will get the exactly same equa uh, same inequality here. So yeah, for the question like this, there's no excuse you accidentally got wrong for this one. Do need to draw the graph. I think it's unnecessary. You want to draw also can. You just draw and root it. This is negative one. This is negative 25. Go in these two direction. Okay, but I think the drawing the graph part is uh, not a compulsory. But yeah, if, if it's easier for you to see, you can just do it. A small chain come out already. I will skip. Um, okay, um, indices. Okay, since indices don't have, then let's do some indices. First thing is I know um, 1, 2, 5 is 5 power of 3. 6, 2, 5 is 5 power of 4. So before I start to do this question, I already know everything is have the base of 5. So therefore, I will just say 5 power of 4 multiply with what? x cubed minus 1 over 2 over 5 power of 3. And then this is x cubed equals to 5. And then indices divide me minus, right? So I will just simplify this one. I left a 2. So it's 2x cubed minus 2. Divide means minus. Okay, bottom I should have 3x cubed here. Equals to 5 here means 5 power 1. Uh, 1. Alright, when both sides only have 1, 5, I can just ignore comparing the power. So this one should be 2x cubed minus uh, x cube, 3x cube, I get negative x cube, no. minus 2, minus x cube equals to 1, then x cube equals to negative 3, okay, yeah, 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 then x equals to q, or q root of negative 3, oops, q root of, I mean, q root of negative 3. Negative 1.44. Done. Alright. But like I say, in this first question, no excuse to make mistake here. Why? You can insert the whole equation here. 6, 2, 5. Power. Have a fraction and a power. X. Cube. Minus 1. Over 2. And then this is 1, 2, 5. Power x cube and then equals to 5 see I literally enter the whole thing into the calculator and ask calculator to solve so shift solve randomly give it any random value 0 here and then I should be able to get the answer take a while for the calculator oh my god why cannot solve did I type any mistake type any mistake Thing here this is three one power of this da, 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 da. maybe it's too complicated for the calculator I don't know I thought most of the question it should be able to solve yeah, 
I don't know, I type again, yeah, then I can know, yep. So yeah, you realize you got the same value, then yeah. Indices came, small chain did not, small chain haven't come out yet. So for what, Nitri, which variant are you taking? Okay, then have a look at the small change. It's not too hard also. Um, yeah, I, I read the message. You, you just need to be chill and don't spam the message. All right, so um, use a differentiation to find an approximate change in X. So I want to find approximate change in X here. So yeah, so change of Y over change of X equals to dy dx. So I just need to do the dy dx here. So my dy dx is basically is um, 2x negative 1 minus 2 over x squared and then minus 2 over x cubed. All right, so I need to find the original x value to start in, but I know y is increased from 4 to this one. So change of y is qu actually quite obvious. Change of y is basically 0 0.01. So then I can just plug my 4 into the y to get the x value. I do not know what x value to, to start in. So 4 equals to 1 plus 2 over x plus 1 over x squared. I will, mul I will solve this one to get it 3 here. Then multiply the whole thing by x squared. So I got 3x squared equals to 2x plus 1. So 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. And then I should be able to get my x value here. This is 3x and x here. And... Yeah, one for both. And then this one is minus, this one is plus. So x is equals to one or x equals to negative one over three. Any range for x, x must be bigger than zero. Nice, so I will reject it negative one over three. I will just use the one in this case. So therefore, my x is one. I'm going to sub into here. So my dy dx is negative two minus two, which is minus four. So yeah, then this is change of y is 0 0.01. Change of x is the value I want to find. Then this one is minus 4. So by crossover multiply, change of x equals to 0 0.01 over negative 4. Then yeah, I could get the answer. 0 0.01 divided by negative 4. So yep, you can do negative 1 over 400. Just like this. Okay, because there's some different variant because most of my students are doing variant three, so the variant three, the small change already came out. So, so yeah, this is how to do small change. Okay, so yeah, sketch the graph also came out in variant three. Okay, I want to say about this one. Uh, is the variety? It's a very it's a vec vector question. Okay, so for this vector questions, uh, a cyclic rise at the speed of 4. It gives you a certain bearing. So write down the velocity vector of the cyclist uh, in the form x, i, and y, z. So this one, first thing is you sketch out the bearing. So you sketch out the bearing, this is north, right? 15 degree is roughly here. This one is 15 degree. And then, yeah, your speed is 4 meter per second. So you should be able to know the uh vector because vector is basically uh x and y isn't it for this triangle so depend how you want to do it um you, you prefer to use this value here you can do it because 90 degree minus it you should get a uh, 75 degree here okay so you want to use 75 degree let's say my vec my velocity my velocity here is the xi plus yj. So if I want to find my x here, I will use the cos. So cos 75 equals to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So my x is 4 times cos 75. Change your calculator to degree before you're doing this. So 4 multiply cos 75. So yeah, you prefer decimal. Does the question set exact form? No, right, I can do decimal, right? Okay, 1.04. And then, so I will do the same logic. Sine 75 equals to opposite over hypotenuse. 
So y equals to 4 sine 75. So 4 times sine 75. So yeah, we should get something like um 3.86. Yeah, then I got my verse 2 mark. So my velocity is 1.04 i plus 3.86 j. Done. Okay, so make sure you know how to find the velocity if the bearing is given. Okay, so yeah, I just think it's just like that. Nothing very special. Okay, so then we go to the B. A vector of magnitude of 6 on the bearing of 300. Okay, this one is a bit special. Um, it's, add, it's added to a vector of magnitude of 2. So right now you have two vectors. Okay, let me use a red color for the first vector. So 300, 300 degree is roughly rotate like this. This is my vector. And length of it will be 6. So here will be 60 degree, right? Because 360 for the whole circle. So this is my first vector. In, then the second vector, I use the blue color. Uh, in the bearing of 230. 230 is roughly like this. So it's, for, it's 40 degrees here. It's the magnitude of 2. So to give a vector v. So basically, you add these two vectors to get a vector v. And they ask you to find the magnitude and the bearing of v. So can you do the variant of 2, 3? I did the variant of 2, 3 yesterday. So you can just rewatch my live streaming yesterday. Yeah, I do 2, 1 and 2, 3 yesterday. So today, this is the reason why I do 2, 2 today. Okay, so if I, you want to add two vectors to get a V. So I know V is a resultant vector, right? So you just imagine how to add two vectors. So the first vector, maybe I can put here. This is the first vector, right? I just copy down. Then my second vector maybe is slightly shorter. It's about like this. So if I add these two vectors, I'm getting vector V, right? So this one will be my vector V. So right now, I want to insert some angle and length here to get the magnitude of V. So magnitude here is 6, and this one will be 2. And then the angle, I kind of need to solve. I draw a north here to give myself some idea. So if I'm going down like this, um, I draw one, one more thing like this. So... Yeah, you should be able to see, um, here is 90 degree, then this one will be 50. So here will be 50, and then this one going up is 60, then here will be 60. Okay, so it's 110. So I want to find a V, it's quite easy. I just use the cosine rule, I can find a V. But however, I want to get a direction as well after that. So I kind of need to solve the triangle. Okay, so well, find mark. <laughs> okay. So let's find a V first. V is equal to square um yeah, square root of cosine rule. Uh, 6 square plus 2 square minus 2, 6, 2, cos 110. Okay, just use the cosine rule. You should be able to get the answer. Minus 2 times 6 times 2 times cos 110. Okay, so the magnitude I got it uh 6.94. Okay, I want to get the angle here. So what I want to do here is I need to find what is the angle here. Then this is north, right? Then I from there, I can get my bearing. Because here to here is 180 degree. And then the bottom here, if you zoom out, this one is not hard, right? You should be able to see some alternate angle. So this angle here at the bottom, this angle should be 50. Oh my God, it's very... It's very deep my line. So yeah, this this angle I mean this angle here should be 50. So 180 plus 50 is 230. So I know my bearing should be 180 plus 50 degree plus the theta. So right now my objective is if I can find the theta then I can easily know my bearing here. So I want to find the theta I will use the sine rule maybe. So I will say sine theta over the opposite length 6. Then sine 110 over 6.94. So from here, I can easily get my theta here. So, yep, I will just say fraction first. Sine 110 over 6.94.
multiply 6 and then I will shift sign my answer yeah I got the an angle is 54.3 degree so plus this theta is 54.3 so add together plus 230 so 284.3 degree is the bearing so right now the question asked me to find my magnitude which is this one and the bearing the second one so this is how we solve this question I did not really understand this question all right this is a bit hard first thing you need to know how to add two vector when you have two vector right example let's say I have one vector like this if I want to add right the arrow must be follow so the arrow can be followed like this then yeah then this is a resultant vector this one is called resultant vector basically a uh, vector a plus vector b so you cannot do this is the vector like this but this arrow facing here is not like following right so this is not this is not the add so whenever you want to add right you want to make sure the arrow actually following one so you can do like this and then you add like this then you get a resultant vector like this okay so this is how we add the vector All right five mark let's move on to okay differentiation i think you all have some differentiation right so let's do this one quotient rule this is u this is v oh my god this one this paper is hard man <laughs> for what okay, why i say it's hard quotient rule is nothing hard for me but because the u over here you need to do a product rule so basically this question is product rule and quotient rule do at the same time so therefore let me solve the so-called u first all right this is this one i will let uh, u equals to this one e 4x tangent x so i will do a du dx here I mean i will sort of differentiate this one using the product rule so this one copy this one differentiate this one second square x plus tangent x differentiate a uh, 4 e 4 x okay so yeah so this is so called the du dx okay so right now i can do the quotient rule which is dy dx dy dx the quotient rule formula is what v du dx minus u dv dx over v square isn't it so v this is u bottom is v so v is ln x du dx is everything here so e 4x second square x uh, plus 4 I put the 4 if I take this 4 put in front alright 4 tangent x e4x or I can put the 4 e4x at the front uh. tangent x minus copy the u e4x tangent x differentiate the v 1 over x over v square over v square ln x square done uh, for this kind of four mark question you don't need to simplify it you can just leave your answer like this unless the question asks you to simplify into a certain pattern certain form they will they will write in the question then only you go to further simplify or else you just leave like this lah. okay so make sure you do carefully when you do the question like this um all right the trigo or uh, this stationary point is trigo graph come out already lah. i don't think it will come out again circular measure also come out already geometry also come out already arimetry i don't think it will come out okay i want to do this one curve area okay so yep in order to find this curve area also is a tough question all right <laughs> uh it's not so simple and nine mark and then of course they want exact value but it's not really like super hard but it's not those like simple question you straight away see you know you want to integrate from where to where then you plus that plus that one curve area plus another triangle uh, those are very easy okay this one basically i want they what they want they want the area a ratio area b is one ratio k so basically area a is ratio one area b is ratio k then they ask you what is the k they want this k in the so-called exact form so yeah let's 
do this one. Um, okay, I want to find an area A first. So I know the cost graph intersect at y equals to 1 at these two points. So I want to find uh, these two intersection points. Let me find these two intersection points. So how to find is I sub 1 into the 1 plus cos x. 1 equals to 1 plus cos x. By solving this one, I should be able to get that two value. So x is to equals to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. This is trigonometry, you should know this. Pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. All right, then if, all, if I want to find an area A, I will use a rectangle. So re re rectangle, the height here is one. And then the length here is basically three pi over two minus pi over two, right, is pi. So right now, I will use a rectangle minus area under the curve from pi over two to three pi over two to get area A, okay? So it should be quite uh, straightforward, right? Area A, is equals to rectangle. Rectangle is pi multiply one, which is pi, minus integrate from pi over two to three pi over two for one plus cos x. So, yep, I will solve this thing. Integrate one, get this one. Integrate cos x, get positive sine x. Then I will just insert the value into here. So 3 pi over 2, sine 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So this one is minus 1, minus, sub the pi over 2 into it. Sine pi over 2 is 0. Hey, no, no, it's 1, sorry, pi over 2 is here. Pi over 2 is 1, so yeah, plus 1. Okay, so you can type in the calculator, no need to do manually like what I did. So, yep, so here if I minus, I get pi minus. This one, I minus it, I should get pi minus 2. So this one should get 2. So this is area of A. Pi minus pi, I get, I get 0, right? Yep. So I will get 2 for area A. Then after that, I want to, I want to find area B. Okay, in order to find area B, the logic will be slightly, uh, it's almost the same. So I will integrate from 0 to R. Of course, you want to know what is the R value. You just need to know this is cos x, right? Cos x, one cycle is 2 pi, isn't it? Cos x, the period is just 2 pi. So this one is 2 pi. You should know this. If you cannot know this, you sh can sub y equal to 2 also because the amplitude is 1, right? So that means here is plus 1, this is 2. Then here is 1, here is minus 1. So you can sub y equals to 2 into the equation. You can get 2 pi also. Just want you to understand about 3 goal. Lah. So I will integrate the curve from 0 to 2 pi to get this shaded area. And then I will use a rectangle minus the shaded area and minus my answer for A, area A. Just now I just got the area A, right, which is 2, right? So I will minus the 2 as well to get the area B. Okay, so the re rectangle is not too hard, right? Rectangle here is 2 pi. The height is 2, so it's just 4 pi. Okay, area of rectangle I find already. If I want to integrate to find the so-called curve area, which is I want to integrate from 0 to 2 pi, isn't it? So therefore, I want to find the area B. So area B, I will use a rectangle, which is 4 pi just now. Minus I integrate from 0 to 2 pi, the 1 plus cos x. Okay, if you want, you can write a dx here. Then this one, let's do it again, x plus sine x, isn't it? If I integrate, 0 to 2 pi. So from here, this is 4 pi minus, oh, I still need to minus the 2, because I still need to minus the area A here to get the area B. So I still need to minus the 2. This 2 is because the area A. Okay, so, um, okay, let's sub 2 pi, sine 2 pi is 0, plus 0, sine 0 is 0, so yeah, it's also not plus, it's minus. Okay, then it's just 2 pi minus 2. So this one, if I simplify it, I should get um, 4 pi minus 2 pi is 2 pi minus 2. Okay, now I got area A ratio area B. 
is basically one uh one ratio k right yeah one ratio k now my area a is two and my area b is two pi minus two equals to one ratio k so we know ratio we can easily change them into a fraction this is the common sense in algebra so this is one over k or i prefer i can say k over one also can but never mind i just do something like this so i change both of them into the fraction then i will sort of like flip over so k is um two pi minus two over two so i both can divide two right so it's pi minus one so this is how i get my k value nine mark in total yeah so here of course you need to have some knowledge like how to find intersection point so that you can use the so-called the rectangle minus the small part the curve area so that to get an area a so you can see this is how i did so after i minus read i got the area a then i will find out how to get an area b so by solving this one and un until the end i got an area b then i will insert all the area a and b into my ratio so for the ratio i change to the fraction from the fraction i solve it to find my exact k value which is pi minus one yeah i won't i won't say this is an easy question but it's not like crazy difficult question yeah but co of course compared to other past year integration this one considered very hard because normally the curve area question is very easy okay so okay and in the uh find the equation of the curve i believe also haven't come out so let's do the last question for this paper then i can open to the floor see any question you want to ask me then i try my best to answer you um okay so want to find the equation of curve if you have the second directive simple logic is integrate two times you integrate first time you get dy dx integrate second time you get the y or fx okay so i know dy dx equals to integrate second directive um square root x plus one over fourth root of x square okay so you need to have some basic understanding about integration this one is a little bit hard question why because you can't integrate when top and bottom also have x for the for the fraction so you need to simplify it there's no way you straight away integrate this one right now of course in the future you learn about substitution method in integration then you can do it in the a level or university but right now in ig you can't do this so i have no choice but i expand it so if i put the power two for top and bottom for the top i should get x plus two third x plus one bottom i should get uh square root of x uh, which is square root x uh. Because bottom is uh, fourth root of x, right? If I square this one, fourth root is basically x power 1 over 4, right? I square it, I get back x power 1 over 2, which is square root of x. Okay, you can think like this. Can also find the area from 0 to pi, multiply 2, then minus. Okay, good idea. Yeah, means, um, yeah, just now Cray actually tell a very good idea, which is uh, because this one is symmetry. So just now the query actually say we can find until half here because half of it the this this area just now is two right if i have it it become one and one right so we can just take this one yeah then it's even easier to simplify the ratio okay yeah thanks for the tips but anyways let's come back to this one all right this one i must separate them this one is x over square root x plus two plus one over square root x so x over square root x, if I simplify this one, should be um, um, square root x, right? Square root x plus 2 uh, plus x power negative half, right? So square root x is also called x power half. Okay, now I can start to do my integration. So power plus 1, 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, plus 2x. Power plus 1 is x power 1 over 2, divided by 1 over 2, plus c. All right, this is my dy dx. And I will need some information to find C. Then normally it will tell me gradient, which is my dy dx value. And then they will tell me x value is 1. So dy dx is 4 over 3 when x equals to 1. So I got 2 over 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus C. So, okay, then 4 plus 2 over 3. 
I get uh, 14 over 3. So I move to the other side. 4 over 3 minus 14 over 3 equals to C. Then C is just negative 10 over 3. Then after I got this one, I'm going to rewrite the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the whole thing. This one will be minus 10 over 3. Okay, just assume you know how to find C. Huh? I'm going to erase this one to save myself some space. Then I want to find the equation of the curve, which is Y. I will need to integrate dy dx. So I'm going to integrate this one again. 2x 3 over 2 over 3 plus 2x plus 2x 1 over 2 minus 10 over 3 dx. Okay, so if I integrate this one to get the equation of curve, then I will get 2x 5 over 2 divided by 5. So 5 at the bottom, 2 at the top, divided by 5 over 2 plus 2x squared over 2 plus 2x 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 minus 10 over 3x plus donkey. So this one I just simplified. This is 4x 5 over 2 over 15 plus x squared plus 4 over 3x power of 3 over 2 minus 10 over 3x plus donkey. In order to find the d, I will just, I will just need to plug in the whole coordinate negative 1 and 1. So negative 1 and 1, uh, y is negative 1, right? Okay, so <laughs> so not enough space. Um, never mind, do at the bottom. So this is negative 1. I don't like this color at all. So this is negative 1. x is 1, right? So it's 4 over 15 plus 1 plus 4 over 3 minus 10 over 3 plus d. Okay, so let's do it. Plus 1 plus 4 over 3 minus 10 over 3 yeah so move here will be plus 11 over 15 for my d so i hope i didn't make any error mistake all right so so i will get negative 1 minus the answer so this one should be 4 over 15 then i will just rewrite the whole equation and change this one into the minus 4 over 15 then we are done yeah, this is final equation of curve. All right, so okay, now <laughs> come. Anything you want to ask me? Okay, so um, for some part, I I haven't covered one. I I think um, yeah, because some of you might get different variant. Yeah, if you get different variant, right now I'm talk more on variant 3. If you are getting variant 2 or some other variant, my tips might be less accurate for you. Um, like I say, vector, go to find out the, the velocity problem. Yeah, the velocity problem is considered a hard one, which is need to use the r equals to a plus vt. Yeah. And for binomial, the hard one is when you have something uh power of n okay so yeah this one you need to know how to expand it if it's power of n and yeah definitely kinematic kinematic normally is very easy so don't need to worry so much about kinematics so and then yeah kinematic is very easy and in the search and search i think third they might come out something quite a lot of mark so make sure you go to check it out some third question but now it's actually quite late uh. actually you go to check out now also is not really uh important to you so i better answering like what question you know lah. because i don't want student last minute go to check out all these things to actually scare you do you exploring about what's this vector with magnitude i have some video about that if you want you can go to check it out so basically um you want to find the vector in, in vector topic right they will give you two things first thing is they might give you a direction let's say they tell you the direction is 3 4 and then they will give you they'll give you a speed let's say the speed is, is 60 uh, the one told big like 30 then they ask you to find the velocity then you should know the direction can help you to draw a triangle right 3 4 3 4 then this one is 5, right? 5 to 30 is multiplied 6, right? 
So your velocity is this one times 6, this one times 6. So velocity is just 18 and 24. And you realize if I do the Pythagoras for 18 square plus 24 square, I will get back 30. Do you see that? This is how we do this. Is The second thing is they will give you a bearing and then they will give you a speed or magnitude. Let's say ba bearing they give 130 degree, speed they give 10. And then they ask you to find a velocity. Then you just need to draw out the bearing. 130 is is about 40 degree here. Then, yeah, then this one is 10, isn't it? Then you can do the socatoa because you know your vector is basically x and minus y, isn't it? Your velocity is x and negative y, right? So you just need to use the socatoa to find what is x and negative y. Then you should be able to get the answer. So, yep, this is about vector. Alright, so I, I think you're all getting uh, a bit out of topic in the ch chat room over there. So, if you don't have any important thing you want to ask me, yeah, I will just give you all to, to rest. Yeah, so, yeah, some students want to know about the trade hole, you can just go to see the Majin one. Um, if not mistaken, the... For variant 3, you want to get A right is is about 100 out of 160 because, because paper 1 is 80 mark, paper 2 is 80 mark. So in order to get 100 out of 160, you need to at least get 50 mark for each paper. So this one get 50, this one get 50. Then you add up together, it's 100, isn't it? Then you're getting A. For variant 2 will be slightly lower, I can't exactly remember. I, I believe B is about, also like not very low, like 96 out of 160, something like that. Uh. It's slightly lower a little bit. Okay, so uh, variant 1 is about the same. Uh. So if you aim for A, I, I would say we don't care about threshold. We at least need to buy 55 to 60 for each paper. It will be quite safe to actually get A. Okay, so, yep, so just do your best tomorrow. Tonight, just sleep more. You must sleep more, like, you can go to read a lot of psychology research. Sleeping actually help your brain to organize your, whatever you memorize. It help you to organize your knowledge. So, if you, without sleep, tomorrow you go to the exam, you might always panic, remember wrong, or make a lot of careless mistakes. So, tonight, please go to sleep early. Okay, uh, someone take the essence and explain da, 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 da. So I heard they don't calculate out 160 anymore. Is it true? Um, no, <laughs> I don't know. I checked the May, June 2020. They still calculate over 160. Yep, so if there's no important thing, yeah. I wish all of you all the best for tomorrow exam. So do let me know how you, how you do after your exam. So I will see you guys around in my YouTube channel and thanks for participating in this last minute uh, discussion. So yeah, all the best and good luck for your exam tomorrow. See you around my YouTube channel. Bye bye and have a nice day. Good night, not have a nice day, sorry. Thank you.